I'm going to show you how to uh, edit and upload the sermon video uh, after services are done on, on a Sunday. And you can do that immediately after we're done um, and go ahead and get that out there so that it doesn't have to be done later in the day. So first thing you're going to do is uh, open up Finder on the Mac in the Worship Center. So go on to the ProPresenter Mac uh, in the Worship Center in the AV booth, and you're going to go to your side, the sidebar of your Finder, and you're going to look for a computer called Gateway Livestream. Now, I'm already connected to it, but I'll show you if, you hit, if I hit Disconnect and then I hit Connect As, it brings up a login window and the name is Gateway Livestream, all one word, and then you know the password. It's already on. Uh, it's the same password you use to log into both of these machines, uh, but this one we're logging into the live stream Mac from the other Mac, okay? Um, and so you just hit connect, and it may already have the password memorized, so you may not even have to put the password in, but you want to make sure you log into that machine as Gateway Livestream. Once you're into it, you want to open up this Gateway Livestream folder, And then in here, you want to open Movies. That's where um, OBS is saving all of the, the recording files. So and you can see this one yesterday, 9.03 a.m. I'm doing this on a Monday. This is yesterday's uh, 8 o'clock service right here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just drag this onto, I'm on my laptop right now, but this should this this will work exactly the same uh, way that it works on the iMac in the Worship Center. So I just drag that onto my desktop and wait for it to copy over. All right, that's done. And I'll just close this window up here. Um, all right, so then what we can do is open it up. We're in QuickTime. Um, and you see we still got a little bit of the countdown video. Now what we want to do is trim down this video to, the, to just the sermon, OK? Um, and it gets a little tricky. I mean, yeah, this is pretty easy to do with QuickTime. It just gets a little tricky because you because the video is so long, and so you have to like actually move bars to trim it and that kind of thing. And it just gets a little gets a little tricky to get it in the right spot. So what you do is you go to Edit, Trim in QuickTime, and you can see it brings up this little bar that has the entire video in it. Um, and you can see you know thumbnail uh, thumbnail frames. Um, so you have kind of an idea where to go. And you can see, like here where I'm moving my mouse right here, there's still music going on. And over here, it looks like uh, the sermon begins. So we'll grab this little yellow bar, and we're going to drag it. And you can sort of watch everything go. Um, and I'm just dragging it. I'm clicking and dragging this over to the right. And I don't know why I decided to go so slow, but there we go. And we'll get past the music. Here and there's Blake. Okay, so now we're about at the right point. Now what we want to do, we want this video, the sermon video, to begin with the bumper video when there is one. Sometimes there's not. Most of the time there is. So now you can see there's the tail end of the bumper video right there. So, um, and you notice that sometimes when you click and hold it for a minute, it expands like that. And basically what that means is. Um, you can go more slowly through the video. So that's what you want to do. Like if I just grab it and start dragging right now, it's going to go through big chunks of video at one time and it's going to go way faster than I can, uh, than I can, too fast for me to be able to tell where I've got it exactly. And we want to try to get it as exact as we can on either end. So if you click on it and just hold down for a second, it's going to expand, which means that when you scrub through it, it's going to go more slowly which is what it was doing at the beginning. I just held it down too long uh, at the beginning of this. And it may take a minute, depending on how far in you are. Um, so I may just stop that and scroll back a little more here. There we go, okay. So now I'll click and hold right here and fade it into right there, right about there. It looks pretty good at the beginning, okay. So the bumper video is still fading in. And so now we want to go down to the end where Blake is finished preaching. Okay, and we got some music again. He's Blake still talking. And usually what we go for is he prays at the end. Okay, and now he's praying right there. So I'm just going to drag 
through here until it looks like he's done praying. And that looks like probably it. So what I'm going to do is put my playhead here. If I click in there, you can see the little red line. I've put my playhead there now, and I can hit the space bar, or I can hit play. Oh, actually, I may, may not be able to because I'm screen recording this at the same time. So I'm using QuickTime for two different things. So we're going to give this a shot. Um, I'm going to trim this. We're going to say we got it. So you would hit play. I can't play it because I'm recording my screen at the same time. But you would hit play and make sure that you've hit the end of Blake's prayer. And you don't want to, you know, he just he, he tends to immediately go on and talk about Stephen. Um, you know, that Stephen's going to come up and do some stuff. And you don't want to get that. You want to get the end of the prayer. You know, it sound like a natural place for it to end. Okay. So we've got the bump, bumper video at the beginning. We've got Blake's prayer at the end. And that should be done. And now we can hit trim and it's going to create a new file that's just that section. Okay. Now you have to save this file. So you can see it's untitled right now. So you can save it. And I'm just going to uh, save it. Good grief, I keep typing the wrong number. 80920 sermon. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Okay. Now, if you're wondering why we have to transfer this to the other iMac, um, for some reason, the live stream iMac, which this video is recorded on, it doesn't work. You can trim the video in QuickTime, but when you try to save it, it won't save it. And <laughs> we can't figure out why. So we can transfer it to, you can transfer it to, I can transfer it to my laptop. We can transfer it to the iMac in the worship center. Um, so now we've saved that file. And um, because I actually want to upload this file, I'm going to pause the screen recording and I'm going to come back uh, and show you how to do the rest of it. So first, we're going to upload it to Vimeo. OK, um, the church has a Vimeo account, which, is of course, where we've been uploading our sermon videos. Actually, let me correct myself. We only have to upload it once. OK, um, but it's got to go in two different places right now. So. So now I'm in the church's Vimeo account. Um, of course, you may have to log into it. Um, and you just want to go here, new video, upload. And it's going to take you to the upload page. And all you got to do is now grab your trimmed video here and drag it on there. Okay. And this one is called Rise Hope for Today Part 1. Okay. And typically, um, we'll try to work on getting a description to you. Um, uh, if if you're doing this and you don't, we haven't given you a description yet. Just don't put anything in there. I can come back in and do it later. But I'm going to work on getting that to you uh, so that we can get this all done. All right. So I'm just going to give it a quick description on Sunday, August 9th. Pastor Blake. <laughs> Begin our new series, Rise Hope for Today. Okay, pretty straightforward. All right. And I'm copying that because I'm going to need it somewhere else. But all right, privacy. Anyone can see this video. That's fine. Language. We want to change that to English, United States, uh, industry. That's a new thing. They didn't used to have that. So. Um, religious institution, and I'm going to disable the video review page, and we're going to set content rating to all audiences, and save, and it will take just a minute, okay, upload's done, all right, and you click edit settings, how about we just scroll down here, uh, you don't really need to mess with any of this stuff, you want to come to collections, okay, in collections there's a folder called sermons, and we just check that, and that's uh, all we need to do for now. Just hit save. And we'll have to wait just a minute for this video to be converted. So what we've just done, um, we try to keep the Vimeo organized uh, and, you know, have these these collections in it. So we have a sermons folder where all the sermons go. And you'll notice there are these basically at the end of the year or the beginning of next year when we get ready to upload the first sermon for next year. I'll uh, change this folder so that it's called 2020 Sermon Archive. And we'll create a new sermons folder. And one of the things that that does, 
Um, it helps us keep it organized, but also if you go to gatewayonline.org slash video sermons.html, uh, that playlist is embedded here.